Actually, let's go over to Elvis's house first. That sounds good to me because if you remember, we can get a free heal here. And I am a little low on MP, so I might as well use it while I can. Let's move on now. We are ready to go. We need to head back to Narsh, of course. That's where everybody's going. Seems to be the center of everything around here. So let's try to head there. Let's continue on. Technically, this is backtracking, I guess you could say, but the game manages to keep the backtracking entertaining. How do they do that? Well, here in South Figaro Cave, they have changed the monsters. So, this is going to be uh, rather difficult. It, uh, if you're not paying attention, it can be difficult. Here are the new enemies that we are looking at. We have the Gold Bear and the Primordite. Uh, I'm going to physically attack the primor uh, sorry, the gold bear, and use ice on the primordite, and that should finish the job here for me. Unfortunately, ice is not powerful enough, so I can multi-target and kill everything at once. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Let's move on. Uh, most of the treasure chests. Well, I think there was only one treasure chest here to begin with. It hasn't changed yet, I don't believe. More new enemies. We have. Uh, Trilobiter here. Uh, I know that the ice takes out the Primordite, so let's go ahead and take that one out. And Luke can take care of the Trilobiter, I am sure. You have to be careful of the, the Gold Bear. Uh, they have a physical attack uh, known as Gouge that can take off a substantial amount of your health. So be careful. Eh, that's the best I could say. Oh! Le level up for Lamia. She has learned Imp. Uh, which of course turns the enemies small. Uh, they can still cast magic though, so really use it on uh, physical attackers only. I uh, can't take a look at that. Jesus, way down here. Changes to and from imp. Thank you, game. Uh, it's also rather expensive, so I probably won't be using it for crowd control for quite some time. Let's just continue going forward here and try to head up the stairs. Let's continue on up here. Now we are back on the upper level. This might look a little familiar. There's a treasure chest here. This treasure chest contains a thunder rod that I am not going to get. Uh, this is a... Uh, well, it is useful early on. I, I won't say that it's not useful, but I'm still going to be avoiding it for now. Still... what? Yeah, what is that noise that keeps on being made here? Recovery spring always appreciated. Let's just try to get out of here. One step away, seriously. All right, let's head back to the recovery spring. Get all my health back, and hopefully the game will let me make it out of here. Uh-oh. Huh? Something's coming out of the wall! And it is boss time. We're up against tunnel armor here. Mommy apparently recognizes it. I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again. I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Are you sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. Uh, first, we're, we're stealing. And then we are going to be using Runic. Runic is an ability that I did not go over before uh, because nobody used magic before. <laughs> How it works is you use it, it will draw the magic of whoever the enemy is. And we get an air lance hit stolen from him. Very nice. And it'll completely, pretty much negate all magic that is being done, and the little green numbers that you see her coming up with are actually uh, MP. It heals her MP, which is always nice. Actually, though, the air lancet is better than the guardian. You can change... where is it? You can change equipment in battle, and it is, well, good that you do, especially for something like this. Now we can start doing more and more damage. I'm uh, pretty much going to use Runic the entire time here uh, because Tunnel Armor loves to use magic, so we might as well just negate that entirely. He does have a couple uh, physical attacks, like that right there. I might need to heal. I think I can get away without healing, though. I can, because down goes Tunnel Armor. Not that tough. As long as you use Runic. If you don't, then you might be screwed. And you get an elixir for that fight, and 250 gil. I will take it. 
<sighs> Looks like we're in the clear. And we are, yeah, we're in the clear, which means that the scenario is over. You don't have to actually backtrack to Narsh, which is nice. The three have reached Narsh, and a decisive battle is about to take place. Is it time for more cutscenes then? Of course it's time for more cutscenes. And looks like some important people are here. I understand all of it, except how can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that. Something like it. Ah, he's right, you know. Bannon, our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gestal's racing to acquire Magitek power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of Magitek power surely will lead to global destruction. The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn! Brother! Elvis, you're all right. Who the hell are these people? I am Kanijo, retainer to the Lord of Doma. Tweet down! The people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Kefka poisoned everyone. Barbaric. Elda. But that was only because Domo was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake. That's nonsense! Luke! The Empire's poised to attack Narsh right now! What? Luke, where'd you hear that? Lamia here was one of the Empire's generals. I knew she seemed familiar. Sir, tweak out of my way! That's General Lymia. She torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now, stand aside. Wait! Lymia has joined the Returner. She's fighting with us now. But I promised I'd protect her. I will not back out on my word. Luke. Are you still thinking about that? I was also an Imperial soldier. Who? What? Kanijo is not happy right now. The Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. Oh, this is... Emergency! The Empire cometh! Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. I don't care what you do here, just get me that Asper! Lord Kafka, there are civilians here. Exterminate everyone! Narsh is neutral. Idiot! Read my lips! Dispose of any who oppose us! March! What kind of dance are you doing there, Kes Kefka? <laughs> what the hell, man? Kefka. He might be the evilest guy that we've encountered in Final Fantasy thus far. Love him. We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. They're after the Esper. We moved it to into the hills. The hills? I want to go to the hills, then. Then we're going up after it. God, look at that party. <laughs> oh, seven of them. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, 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 I didn't know that that was going to be disappearing that fast. So I didn't read any of it. Sorry that I missed it. So you were born with the power of magic? Isn't it a lovely gift? You can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a magic check knight. Have you loved anyone? What's that supposed to mean? 
That is a weird question. Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. And we are now in control of Coco again. And I need to use this save point. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, all healed and saved and equipped. Uh, let's go over equipment relatively quickly here. This is what I have on Coco in terms of relics. I gave her the earrings and the burial ring. We'll see how important those earrings are later on. For Luke, I did give him the air lancets, the green gray and the ninja gear, and the Genji glove and the atlas armlet. And yes, you have to equip them one at a time. And I used the tin tin bar to get them all uh, up to uh, max HP. That was just the easiest way. Lamia has the same stuff that she had before, including the mage's hat, which is the best for her, sprint shoes, and ribbon. Sprint shoes, not necessarily required, but I like having them on somebody, you know? Kanijo! He's got Kotetsu, Heavy Shield, Green Beret, and Iron Armor, pretty much the same as what we had with him before. With the Relics, he's got the Hyper Wrist and True Knight. We'll see if that True Knight ever comes necessary at all. Glenn has the Mithril Pike, Heavy Shield, Green Beret, and Leather Armor. For his Relics, he's got the White Cape and the Hyper Wrist. Elvis has got the Mithril Claw Buckler, Green Beret, and Kung Fu Suit, Running Shoes, and White Cape. And finally, we have Tweak. Tweak has got the Buckler, the Green Beret, and the Kung Fu Suit. And for the Relics, he does have the Earrings in the Mithril Glove. Uh, this is how you have to equip everybody one at a time when you are done. You can talk to Bannon.